Okay, so we're currently on our way to go get breakfast with Amber, but this big giant beetle just flew in here and it was crawling somewhere and now my passenger, we're pulled over. My passenger side is, door is open. Oh my God, what was that? Okay, that was just my belt. Now I'm just being paranoid. Oh no, he because he was just here and now I don't see him and he was so big. Like this big, like oh, he giant. Was big, y'all. Oh, he was big. Like, this was a big beetle. I don't see him anymore, but I'm afraid to. Well, if he shows up again, you guys will be hearing it from me. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah! Oh my God! Sorry, y'all. <laughs> yeah, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, hold on. You're fine, sweetie, you're fine. He scared me, he scared me, he scared me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, he scared me, that's all. Oh you're fine, God. you're fine, I'm gonna get him out. You're fine, you're fine, I'm sorry. Really? You're fine, baby. First, he's not gonna hurt you, okay? He just scared me, that's all. Because he was on my steering wheel. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to act like that, baby. You're okay. He's not gonna hurt you, baby. Really? Sorry, I didn't. I didn't mean to run out on you, baby girl. I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna try to get back in. Did he fall out away? I think he's gone. I just had to wait for the cars to move. Oh my god. Oh, that just scared me so bad on my pants. Okay. It was just your belt. Yeah, it, it was something that looked like him. I'm gonna leave the windows open, okay? So hopefully he can fly away. Oh my god. Hiya. We are out to lunch at the moment at Cereario's? I don't know. You're eating my crackers? Those were, that was for my chili. <laughs> so we ended up having this like random, really beautifully hot day. <laughs> I'm gonna have, I tried to get both Hi, of us to have it at the same time. I need some chili crackers. Yeah. And they're so good. So we ended up coming out to Manchester. We ended up coming here, not with any real plans, just for kind of something to do. So at the moment we are stopped for lunch. We're gonna eat real quick. Those are my crackers. Hey! And then I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We'll see. There's a Ben and Jerry's we might stop at. They're going to pull out the car park to like go out. So I ended up just getting like a chicken, chicken finger platter for us to share. But I got chili too. I'm not really a big fan of it. <laughs> Originally we were going to the park because it was so beautiful out today. And then we got rained out. So I'm like, okay, well, can't do that. What did we do after the park? Oh, we tried. I was like, okay, well, let's just go get some lunch. The first place that we tried to go get lunch was Texas Roadhouse. Forgot that they don't open till 3 p.m. Um, so then we ended up just coming to Manchester and we've been like walking the strip and stuff outside. I know that the lighting is terrible, but you can see outside now. The dress today that you're wearing too, sweetie. The yellow one, that was one of Mama's favorites. It's what? 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 It's gonna be Daddy's birthday on Halloween. In <laughs> August. Halloween. Whose birthday is coming up? Uh, mom. Mom's? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when is Ella's? August. That, that's right. Good job. Once we finished up lunch, I wasn't sure what to do. And I wanted to bring her to this like really big park to you was telling me about, but it wasn't supposed to rain until like three or four o'clock, but then we got like a sudden shower. So even though it's not raining right now, everything is still really wet. So we're still, we're still in Manchester. The strip was a little more back that way. But now we're just kind of walking around like this public park. I don't know, I just want to be outside and it's beautiful. But I think there's a lot of homeless in this we park too, so. <laughs> Love your outfit. Thanks. You're welcome. Mama's skirt came from Fashion Nova. Um, I'll link it if I remember because I had my my eyes on this skirt for a while, um, but I just recently purchased it. Where's she going? Hey baby, I think that's a light mama. 
I wouldn't play with that, babe. I don't think there's a, a, like, you know, swings or anything. It's more like an event park. You got the big kind of stage over there. Um, so I think we just kind of walk around and be honest with you. A real horse? A real horse? Where? And no, I think that's just a memorial, sweetie. It's a yeah, it says cooperative project for outdoor recreation. So we're gonna head out real quick because I really have to use the restroom, which I should have used at the restaurant. There are porter pots right there. Your girl will pee herself before and I guys, ever. Actually, we need to. Here's my little buddy. Aw, you sleeping outside? Hi, honey. Aw, you've been outside all night. You didn't want to come in. Aw, hang on. Oh, okay, I'll leave you alone. I actually just went to the mall yesterday to get a new phone. My phone had busted. Like, I, I cracked it a while ago, and I've been talking to you guys about getting a new camera. I'll put you down, because I think Ella just wants to be seen, too. So I went to go get a new camera, so we got uh, a new phone, so I got an upgrade because I dropped my phone, it cracked completely, but the camera was fine, then I dropped it again, <laughs> and it basically broke the camera, like right through the camera. So yesterday we went and we got an upgrade, so no, I don't have like a camera camera still, but at least I have a better phone, so we can do that. Um, today we are at the Blue House pizza something because I love trying out new restaurants so that's the one that we are at today and, and guess what? what I need to save you my prize like, yes I taught Ella the value and guess of what I gotta get the jasmine Lego set with that tiny little tiger like garage that's because we saw Aladdin yesterday right yeah so I gotta get the like jasmine Lego set what do you think of Aladdin Glad it was really cool because I didn't like the shot at all. The what? The film guy with the parrot. Oh, Jafar? Yeah. He's a big butthead, isn't he? Yeah, I'm not going to see no. Jafar. But it was a great movie, so if you're looking, um, if you're wondering if it was like worth it or not, I know what? there's a lot of critic. And guess uh, what? Because I got to get the Jasmine Lego, uh, like Aladdin. Lego set with Jasmine in it. In a couple months? Uh, no, it's gonna be. It, it's. Uh, the, okay, let me tell you. So, <laughs> For your birthday in a couple months, right? We're gonna get the you Jasmine and the Le Aladdin Lego set? So, I was gonna get the Jasmine Lego set with that tiny little Raja. Yeah. It has so many Legos in there, but we need to build them with mommy and me. Not daddy, but. Not daddy? Why not daddy? Because he really, he was working on the aerial boat with me. Yeah, and you guys now, finished it. And guess what? What? I put it together. You put it all together? No. I just break it off. Like, off. You broke it apart? Yeah. How come? But I can fix, I guess what? what? We can, we can. Hey. We, can you show me your beautiful dress? Cause oh, yeah. it's so beautiful out today. No, no, come down here, come down here. Show me right here. I wanna see the whole thing. <gasps> oh my goodness, give me a twirl. Woo, we're in that season where we can wear dresses again. Yeah, one is, one is cold, we can't. Yeah, your yeah. cheeks are rosy, you must be a little bit hot. Yeah, well, but can we play right now? Oh, I forgot our drinks, hang on. I said we haven't been here i ordered ella i just got her like side dish sides of chicken fingers and french fries and then i'm just trying a steak and cheese which oh oh i'm sorry okay can you drink it a little bit in case i don't spill it you want me to drink it a little bit yeah start it for you yeah i don't think i've ever seen tropicana apple yeah. juice just orange juice why is it orange juice? I'll give you a little tip though. It's apple juice. Why is it apple juice? I'll get you started. But we've been getting a lot today done. I haven't necessarily been vlogging, A, because we just brought Arrow back to get his second round of shots. So that wasn't like 
anything blog worthy but he's all set until next year on shots which i'm really excited about he still gotta go get fixed and all that stuff but and then i have to i had to back up my old phone so yes i am using my new phone i do have my old phone though so we gotta go to the mall and go talk to the guy who we were basically trading in my phone but i still had videos on there so i backed all that up last night we're gonna go to the mall hey, Mom. give him my phone i did have a cut right here and that's marker Right there, that's marker. Oh yeah. You do have a little, that's because you were playing too rough with arrow. And I had another one up here. That one's almost gone. And that one. I know the next couple of days it would kind of kind of be boring because we're not doing a whole lot. Do you know that Monday we're going to go to a place called Clark's Trading Post? And it's they have bears. Called trading and they have, Post. They have bears and they have a train <laughs> with a wolf man. It's true, they have a wolf man there and they Wait. have bears that do a whole bunch of like tricks and stuff. We've been there last year, I think when, when the year before. If you're new to my channel, you don't know what Clark's Trading Post is. Can if you're I old, you may have seen it before. Can I in this cover now? I don't like no. in a bottle. No. I ran into their restroom real quick too because I always like to check like out it. places and their restaurants. If I'm at new places, if I'm recommending a place, like... So it's, it's small. But it's clean. I mean, there's no like visible anything. Granted, they j did just open. I literally think we're like their second customer. Okay, so we just got our food and everything looks normal. You know, we got chicken fingers and french fries, but that's a little. So I broke into the sub and there's definitely more cheese. I was, I was a little worried. We just got home. I'm kind of unpacking, getting ourselves situated. So the place that we ate at was decent. It wasn't like anything crazy. To be honest, the service wasn't that great. <laughs> um, and I ended up paying like $26 literally for chicken fingers, fries, and a sub and a couple of drinks, which might, I mean, that's about average, but if I'm going to spend $26, like I'd rather just go and like sit down somewhere. I don't know. That's me. If you're in the in the area and want to try it, I definitely think it's good. Um, but it's small, so don't expect a whole lot. But it's good. So I changed. We're gonna head outside for a few minutes. Um, once a week, I like to try to get out here, especially during the spring and summer, um, and dedicate a day to yard work. Um, because I'm not working my other job, and I'm just, you know, actually, I'm gonna leave the door open um, because I'm doing deliveries. I do, you know, have more freedom to be able to get these things done. I'm gonna step into my shed real quick. You're not gonna see much of anything, but I need to grab Mr. Weed Whacker. Hello. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so guys, I know about this baby bird. Oh my gosh. Listen, we found this nest like a couple days ago. I knew it was there. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. So I looked online. It said to grab a container about the size of its nest, grab some nest stuff, and put him back in the tree and wait for the mom to come. I don't know what to do because it says to put him back in the nest. I don't know if he's a robin. But it says to come and grab some of the nests. I swear the nest is completely destroyed. Like there is no more nest. We've been looking at this nest for the past couple of days and it is destroyed. So I'm going to put him on the table real quick. I'm going to grab some of his remaining nest, which was right here. As you can see, it is completely destroyed. All that is left is literally some twigs and some leaves. So I am going to grab what was remaining of that, so I'm going to put it into, oh gosh, I need two hands. Sorry guys, I've never um, handled this before. So I'm going to, I'm simply taking the nest and putting it into the container. I'm going to take the baby bird. Come here, buddy, come here. Go back into the nest. Go back into the nest. Oh, oh no, this is too small. All right, this is too small of a container. He's jumping out, I need a bigger box. All right, so the bird, I ended up putting the plastic container. I, I'm holding the plastic container. I took the stuff out of the plastic container. I put everything in the shoe box because he kept jumping out of the box. Um, I think I'm going to come back out in an hour. I'm going to do a little bit more research just on what to do or where to bring him if the mom does not seem to come back. The birds are definitely taking interest in him, I think. The scary thing is is that there were three birds in there. There were three eggs in there and I only found one baby bird. I'm really afraid I'm gonna go over there and see what I really don't wanna see, but 
I need to also make sure that my cat's A not gonna eat them and that there is not a baby bird sitting there waiting for somebody to come save them. And I'm too scared to do it, so. Baby, just stay right there, honey. I'm not going anywhere. Their nest was a little bit more on this side. Um, but I found the baby bird right in front of Arrow, like literally right in front of Arrow. Um, unfortunately, the only reason I found this baby bird, why is there a Dunkin' Donuts cup? The only reason I found this baby bird is because it was chirping and there is a lot of poison ivy over here. Um, yeah, he's still in the box. I think mama and daddy are just a little bit nervous with me over here. Um, but I just need to make sure. Oh, he's making a lot of noise. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Um, that container still wasn't big enough, so he ended up kind of jumping out again. So I stuck the container back in the box. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. They said that it's kind of a myth, like when people touch baby birds and stuff like their moms will kick them out i don't know i was saying that was a myth um i don't know i don't know what to do i know nothing about animals or birds especially wild birds um i did everything that i could at the moment again i'm gonna do some research just of where to go if the mom doesn't come back or the baby falls again or something i cannot find the other birds i don't know if they're old enough that they try to fly and one of them fell, but two of them are nowhere to be found. And I can't imagine that that nest would be destroyed unless the babies were already out of there. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I did what I, I could and I'm really, really trying to save this baby bird because it was like two years ago that I stepped on a baby bird. And I will never, never forget that feeling. And I don't ever, I just don't want to deal with that anymore. I know. I can't believe that baby bird I got know. bit. Mama's, it didn't get bit, it fell from the nest and I'm and trying was... to find its parents. I want to see, instead of keep an eye out to see if... Alright, I moved him a little bit higher. My stupid cat, look out here. And he's perched right there and like the box was like right there. So now it's a little bit higher where it's like up here. I might just have to keep him inside for a little bit. I'm going to go back to weed whack and Ella's coming out in a second. We're just going to go back. I'm going to keep my eyes out and I'll keep you updated over the next couple of days. I see another bird over there. Go find your baby. I put him up nice and high. Oh, he's like near the ground. I wonder if he's looking for him. Oh, he'll find him though. I put him almost in the exact same spot. Yes, you can come outside. Okay. Listen though, you need to come here. I got to tell you something real important. You gotta listen to me because this is super important. Mm -hmm. Don't go over there right now. You can play in your sandbox and stuff, but please don't go toward that fence because I really, really, really need their mommy and daddy to come find them. And if we're near them, they won't come over. They'll fly away, okay? One of those, the I can see a big, I can see a, Mommy bird. I right, they, I see two big birds over there, so I think they're looking for their baby. But if you go over there, you're gonna scare them away. So can you do me the biggest favor and yes. just don't go by the fence, okay? Well, All right, I'm gonna get some weed whacking done, girlfriend, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll be careful. Oh, come on, I please find the baby. Bird. Weed whacking is done. We were able to get that done successfully. I've been keeping my eye out. Um, I don't think the birds have found it yet, but they're oh, definitely hanging out over there. Look it, up there. <laughs> the robin, the robin. Now I'm gonna attempt to get my lawnmower going because it wasn't working the other day. But my lawn's getting a little too long. It's another day and my skin looks disgusting because I am currently self tanning. Um, but I went to go check on my little buddy and he survived the night. So that pest control person never come back to me, the animal control people. I, I'm gonna throw up a quick picture because um, I didn't want to go over. So I kind of like used my phone to like hold it above just to take a picture and see if um, she was still in there. And she is and she's not chirping. So she seems to be fed. <sighs> I think we did it, baby girl. I think we saved her. I feel so good about myself. 